All right, I'm kind of excited about this one. I have a new tool for the shop, and it's going to make troubleshooting short circuits a lot easier. So what is it? It is a flare camera. Oh, yeah. Thermal imaging. So what I have here is the Fleur C2. And this is not this is not their high end camera. I mean, it's just a it's 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 a very um, it's an 80 by 60 thermal imaging. I think it's 320 by 240 resolution, which is not anything spectacular. It's it's definitely one of their lower end models. But just to get the step into the thermal imaging game, uh, I think it's a pretty good price and. It's video out via USB, and it seems to work pretty good. And it also works with, you guessed it, OBS. So, here it is. This is pretty cool. Right now I have MSX on right now, which is a, a video overlay of the thermal image. And if I turn uh, MSX off, it'll just give you the thermal which would be a little bit better probably for our purpose because MSX is okay, but once you get close to an image, it starts to separate from the thermal image. You'll notice like the LED is not right where the thermal image is. And that's the problem with, you know, the MSX is, uh, you know, your distance. And if you're looking to f look at a part or a very small semiconductor that's going to throw you off so we're going to shut that off we're going to actually look before i shut it off i'm going to look at the circuit board here and you can kind of see what i'm saying that the amplifier is not on right now what you're seeing is actually reflections anything that is shiny or steel uh, is going to reflect back at the camera and it's going to give you a little bit of a false positive so you can cover it up with uh, either paint or tape or something like that, but um, I'm not concerned about that right now. What I want to see is um, how this thing actually works while imaging a board while it's powered up. Right now we're just kind of taking a survey of it, what it looks like before it's powered up. And it looks like right now I'm getting a little bit of reflection off of this heat sink. So we know what to expect there. And all this right here is actually peeled up um, solder mask from the circuit board. See if we can get, uh, it also has a regular camera mode on here too. The frames per second is not very great, but um, it's fine for what I plan on using this for. So you can kind of see the shiny reflections that are coming back at it. That screws with the camera, so you try, gotta try to minimize reflections. So let's turn just thermal back on, just thermal on. And kind of see here. Actually, let's go back to MSX and we'll just power it up with the thermal. Just to get an idea of where the parts are right now. We're going to see what heats up. All right, I've powered the amplifier on. So it, I see, yeah, oh, you can see all the op amps starting to come on. They're warming up over on the right hand side over here. Right now, I'm holding this about 10 inches away. And you can kind of see that the overlay, the video overlay, the MSX overlay from the thermals just, uh, a chip's worth off. So if I go just to thermal mode now and bring it in a bit, you can, you can get an idea of where everything is. Right, right now I'm about five inches away from the board. And if I actually, I can actually point it apart if I suspect that's where I'm looking at. Like that is an op amp right there. That's an op amp. This is run a little hotter. Um, these two, this right here is a set of resistors. They're uh, a large, uh, maybe a one, one watt resistor, I believe. And they're running at about 168, 169 degrees. I think I saw the top out at 168. So this is pretty good. 
Uh, let's go up here. These are the pre-drivers. These are the transistors. I can feel them. They're warm. Let's see what the thermal says. About 127 degrees. This is the other channel. This is a four channel amplifier. So let's go to the other side. We should see a very similar pattern. Yep, we do. So we can see that those three transistors on each channel are operating. So this is going to be a fun tool. It's going to take a little while just to get used to because of the resolution is not so great, but I mean, I think it's better than nothing. Um, so many times I wish I've had this when uh, I was doing the 250 when I thought there was a short somewhere. It should be very easy to identify where that would be or a problem area. So right there is just an array of op amps. So that looks pretty cool. And there's actually a set of two right here that, that doubled up. And the cool thing about this thing is, I mean, it really holds heat. Wherever you touch, I mean, it shows a, a handprint. That'll stay there for a few moments, which is pretty, pretty wild. I like this thing. So let's go back here to... Yeah, so I think this is going to be a very nice tool for uh, what I'm doing here. If I had thousands of dollars to blow on a thermal camera I would have but uh, I don't so this is what I got and um, they actually make one that's a little bit cheaper than this and it plugs into your cell phone I have Android and I guess there's only a limited amount of Androids that work with their FLIR 1 model versus this C2 which is all in one it has everything built in the only thing it does not do is record video to the unit it record it'll it'll take pictures but it won't record video so if you want video out you got to do what i just did and hook it up to your uh computer and either use flur tools or obs software obs recognized it and loaded the driver and it was able to just put it right in and it was good so um i think this is going to be very valuable valuable tool for uh troubleshooting some problems that uh that you can't, or you don't have a schematic for something, which we all know this is mostly the case. Um, it's going to make things a lot easier for troubleshooting a short somewhere, and uh, or over overheating component. So that's good. That's all I got for today, guys. So if you like the video, subscribe, like, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next. Have a good one.